Hi, Sprouts and Evergreens. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, how did your week go last week with less complaining and whining? Just curious about that. And, you know, feel free to always send me a little video or an email. and Just let me know how your week's going. Um, this week, we're going to continue in the book of Exodus. And remember, the book of Exodus, is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Yes, the Old Testament. That's before Jesus was born. Do you, what's the easy way to remember the book of Exodus? It's like this, with an X. So we have Genesis, Exodus. Um, so we're going to continue um, with the Israelites because last week we found out that they were whining and complaining and God did provide water for them. And remember, first the water was bitter and then um, Moses, God told Moses to put a stick into the water. And some of that stuff sounds silly, but you know what? It's all about being obedient. And Moses was obedient. Um, and then by putting the stick in the water, it made the water sweet. So they had water. So now we're going to continue. Um, God's going to um, have the, cloud, the pillar of the cloud start moving. So when that happens, um, they knew that they needed to pack up and start traveling again. So you'll have to see, are they going to whine and complain again and forget how God has um, uh, worked, you know, for them and provided for them? Well, you will have to see. Um, so we're going to learn about the manna and the quail. Okay. Um, what's another? Oh, so during these videos, I don't have it here right now. Uh, look for the little red dinosaurs. There's something fun for you to be looking at. Um it was not in the first video or the Easter one, but in all the other videos, see if you can find the red dinosaur. Again, it's just something fun that we're throwing in there. Um, another reminder is, um, woohoo, the Awana celebration was last night, so yay. Um, today's actually Thursday when I'm making this. But um, if you need to let Miss Pam know if you uh, finished your Awana book. And if you haven't yet, just keep on working on it and just let her know because she did um, get the um, awards. So yay to all of you that finished and the ones that haven't, just keep on going. All right, so I hope you enjoy this um, little lesson um, in the book of Exodus. And again, as always, just please reach out if you need something or want, you know, I love some of you who send me little pictures of yourselves or little videos and that's great. So again, um, we're praying for you guys. And um, yeah, so have a wonderful week and hopefully again, there'll be less whining and complaining. All right. Israel, isn't it great that God has provided for us, provided that sweet water? Look, the cloud is lifted. Let's follow it. Come on, we need to follow Moses again. Oh, we're on day two, day three. If only we would have had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you, Moses, you had to bring us out of Egypt into this desert to starve to death. It's been, now we're on like four days, Moses. We need food and water again. Moses, turn around. Are you even listening to me? The children are crying. They're, they're starving. What are we going to do? Israel, stop your complaining. God has spoken. He will give us manna in the morning and quail at night. So when morning comes, gather the manna, but only gather enough for one day. Do not keep more than one day of worth. Do not hoard the manna. Look at Moses was right. God did provide. I wonder what it is. Oh my goodness. But he did say only to take what we needed for one day. How do we know how much that is? Mm -hmm. I would think just a little pailful. Uh, what does it taste like? Uh, oh, it's good. It tastes like honey. Oh, yes. Food is finally here. Uh, Why do you have such little buckets? I have enough for the next week. You shouldn't be hoarding the food. Moses said that we should only take enough for one day. What do you think is going to happen? I think he's going to be eating maggots. I, I think I should, yeah. Enjoy your maggot pie, you hoarder. Oh, hey, how was your maggot? 
Yeah. I learned my lesson. Oh. All my bread started to rot and stink, and there was maggots in it. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh. I'm only going to take one piece of quail this time. That's oh. good to obey. Yes, obey obedience is best. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your quail. Wow, thank you, God, for providing the manna and the quail for us. This is awesome. Whoever thought about putting the manna around the quail and making a sandwich, this is a great idea. I'm on my fourth sandwich. It's genius. It's genius. The yellow sauce, where'd that come from? God provides in mysterious ways. Oh, Amen. Wow. Oh, good. Mmm. Mm. Lisa has sent Rex and myself on a mission to find quail and manna at Woodman's. So Rex and I are practicing our social distancing skills here and looking for manna right now. I think we found it. Krispy Kremes is as close to manna as we can get. I see turkey, I see chicken, but I do not see quail. I think I found it over here. Can you read if there's quail in the ingredients? Silly Blake, I found the quail. 